The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 29th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. And if you can't call in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead and send me an email. Send it off early. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, and of course, in our Tigers. Then, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday, of course. This is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 92 points. The S&P 20. NASDAQ 100, 114. Russell 33. Semis 20. Tranny's 95. You've got gold down 26 bucks. Trading in 1918. Silver's off 44 cents. 24.75 is its print. Light sweet crude is down about three bucks. 103 is where it's printing. Natural gas is down 12 pennies. 5.41 is the current price in the 30-year treasury trading out 149.05 that is one and 17 30 seconds uh to the upside leading the charge dollar wise it is booking holdings 99 bucks epam systems 38 autozone 37 google is up 28 equinex 21 to the downside john deere is off 22 bucks lockheed martin 12 palo Alto networks off 12 GameStop 12 amazon down eight buckaroonies aberdeen standard is off about 17 percent nearly nine bucks to the downside so let's go ahead and begin with the play-by-play -play here we'll change screens here momentarily we'll just simply go take a look at the 30-minute uh, time frame charts here uh, so that i can find them should be the screen right here so you should be looking at the 30-minute time frame charts i think that's what you've got up there and here what we'll see is well we'll see two two easily detectable topping patterns one inside the nq that's a roads momentum indicator top that was uh, completed or formed uh at uh, 12 30. that's when we had that little bearish engulfing candle Our price right now is just trading with inside its profile the key level of support on a closing basis is the bottom of that profile and that's at 1509560 that's the level you want to have on your pad of paper see where prices is trading at 130 see where it's trading at too if prices below that that could be signaling to move back to its breakout level 14 7, if we take a look at the russell 2000 it has a td9 count td russell 2000 percentage wise is the leader out there but that doesn't matter we want to understand hey what's going on from an intraday standpoint and you've got that td9 count top takes place at 12 noon price pulling back and testing the bullish structured profile of that 30 minute chart if we do see two consecutive closes below 2108.40 that'll be a signal that price is getting ready to pull back to its breakout level and that's at the 2082 level now we can probably find that we probably i know that we can find a to B equals CD patterns, and therefore sell the D points with regard to the ES Mini and the Dow. It's just that the uh, topping signals are so clear in the NQ and the Russell 2000. That's the easiest place to go ahead and, and uh, watch. Now, in the for the other two out here, we can see that the ES Mini is uh, testing its bullish structured 30-minute profile. It's actually uh, trading below it right now. That level to be watching is at the 45.93 level. So two consecutive closes below 45.93 could open up the kimono, and that kimono could take us down to the price point of uh, 45.04.50. And the Dow, the Dow's price target area 
Price is trading below the bottom of its profile. The uh, target to the downside is 34.865. So in summary, the real key levels to be watching out here for the ES Mini are going to be that 4593 level. Two codes below that, then we'd be keeping an eye on 4504. In the NQ, it's 15095. Two consecutive closes below that, we'd be eyeing 14781. The Dow Equity Future contract, two closes below 34983, we're eyeing 34865. In the Russell 2000, it's basically, I believe it's 2108 to close below 210840, two consecutive times in a row, would suggest 208270. So that's what's going on on the short-term time frame chart and the reason to be paying attention to those is because of the messages coming from the daily time frame chart so now we'll go back to the larger format out here and when you take a look at the daily the upper left hand side the es mini you're going to see that we are in bar number the bar following bar number nine i know people want me to call bar number 10 but then that would only change that would screw up the whole td9 count system so that's not the deal that's not the pattern the pattern is that highs can form bars or need to form a bars eight nine their bar following nine so if there's going to be a top this should be it. Today should be it. We may have already seen the high. And what we should see then is a retracement. Might be just a couple day retracement. That would not be unusual. We can see in the ES Mini, it's also that our change line has changed from red to green. What that suggests is when we get to a top, and certainly today is that is that uh, signal, we then should see price and that line catch up to each other. Now, we don't know if price is going to move sideways and the line moves higher or the price moves lower. While the, I mean, any combination of, of uh, possibilities out here. But the key is, in the ES Mini, a test and rejection of that green line, that would be the bullish signal. What happens if price closes below the green line? Just tells you about a further retracement. But the bullish signal, and it's really only right now coming from the ES, well, I take it back, the Russell 2000. You can see, and the depending on where price changes or trades today, right now it's trying to change its color for its oscillator and change line. So both of those is what we would be looking for to pull back and test those levels. If the test, again, is a test and rejection, that then would be the next buy point or entry point for a long position inside the indices out there. If we take a look at the Dow here, the Dow doesn't have a topping pattern. In fact, yesterday it negated its TD9 count top. Although it doesn't have a topping pattern, prices got back to resistance, breakdown resistance. So that can be a topping signal. Now, if price were to close above 35,244, no topping signal at all possibly for the Dow. So the Dow could pull back, should pull back to test that 34,215 level. And the Russell 2000, it's tinkering with its uh, consolidation level. Maybe it breaks out above this. Maybe it just pulls back inside, gets back below 2097 or so. And that just simply sets up a simple move down to test its oscillator and change line in about the 2047 level as we speak right now. So that's what's going on as we take a look at the equity markets out here. And really now we just need to wait for the markets to communicate to us what their intentions are. But as we took a look at it in those short-term time frames, let's watch those support areas because that will assist us in understanding what the likely outcome is for the rest of the afternoon. So we've got five or six questions that have already come in, and uh, we're going to go straight to those. Now, we just have just a few moments here. We'll probably go back to this, but give me a moment here. Well, it really takes me a little bit of time just to change these screens. So let's do this here. I'm going to get to the black background screens, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch over, and I'm going to pull over a chart as soon as I can get to that area on my uh, screen. And we're going to go take a look at Altria Group, and that is ticker symbol MO. So you may want to fire up MO on your system, you tell me what the signals are here. The question is, Steve, uh, is MO Altria Group going back to $53? That's the question. Of course, we're trading at 5121 right now. The question is, will this move higher to 53 bucks? Steve Rhodes with TFN, and we'll answer that as soon as we get back from this break. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, if you uh, if uh, if you go to the uh, homepage of uh, TFNN.com, uh, you're going to see uh, down towards the center under featured contact to the uh, left, featured content to the left, you're going to see Tiger's Den Trading Room. Folks, they've got to just released a, a new opportunity, new offer. You can join this for one buck, one dollar, Mortimer, uh, for a uh, year. No strings attached out there, so I really highly recommend it. You've got an extraordinary group of human beings that are inside the Tiger's Den, all willing to share with you what they're thinking, their trades. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's all about community. It's all about uh, being associated with the folks that, uh, you know, that are going to help you out. So why don't you take an opportunity? Do it right now. Go sign up for the uh, Tiger's Den. Uh, you'll be in there again with a great group of people. Cost you a buck a, a year out there. So back to Altria Group. MO is a ticker symbol out here. And we've got the three different time frames you can see their different profiles daily weekly and monthly prices are back inside the daily profile it's back inside the weekly profile found resistance at the top of the monthly profile so the question was will it get back to 53 you saw me put that white background chart on our screen out here and when the white background chart was on the screen what you probably saw was that confirmed roads momentum indicator top and that formed out here, that completed, I should say, on March the 23rd. That was the bearish reversal candle. That was a bearish engulfing candle. Now price got below. It's not a and change line. Back inside that profile. Odds favor that what price should do. Now it's sitting at a level of support. The level of support is at the, uh, in this case here, is the center of its profile. The center of the profile is where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value. So what's really going to be helpful to us is can price, does price close below 51.29? If price closes below 51.29, then we should see price get back to the 50.45, 50.54 level. If price were to close below 50.45, then the answer to your question would be no, we don't see 53. But if support holds 
and support is either 5045, 5054, or 5129, which is basically what it's tested today. Then you could see price moving back there on a weekly basis. Do we have any kind of a topping signal? Well, turns out you do have wave number seven. That's letter G. And so with price below its oscillator and change on, that could be signaling to move to 5070 or 4966. But it's early in the week, so it's kind of hard to make that call. And on a monthly basis, don't have anything other than consolidation with inside its profile. So you're just simply going to want to watch the 5129 level. That will certainly reveal the answer to you. By the way, on a short-term time frame chart, I don't see a bottom signal out here, per se, that would suggest that we're about ready to move higher. So it looks like we're ready to move lower versus higher at this stage of the game, but price sitting here at that important 51.29 level. So I hope that helps you out with regard to answering your question. Can, is price going to move higher out there? Right now, you're waiting for the market to really communicate to you those key levels to be watching, and that will then help answer that question, at least with regard to what's going on in the short term. Peter writes in, and Peter says, Steve, can you open up the ES daily to check if there's any TD9 resistance above 4514. So I can. Uh, let me go back to that other set of charts here and I'll just pull the ES any over, although. Um, yeah, it, the, I, actually, the answer to your question is no. I'm pretty sure it's no. Let me just make sure. Let me maybe double check that it's no. So here we're going to go ahead and put the daily time frame for the ES Mini up here. Was there a TD9 count to the downside? Yes. Yeah. So it's already taken out the only resistance, the only TD9 count resistance, which is what you're asking about, which is at 45.14. And that was taken out basically on Friday of last week. For, uh, let's see, this is Tuesday, Monday. Yeah, it was taken out Friday, really Thursday. There was a, sl a slight close above that level. So it's 45.14. You've got that on there. There's nothing above that. Uh, plus, um, uh, there's nothing on the weekly. And general ES analysis. Well, I think we've kind of done the general ES analysis for you. Peter, if there's some other specific question or something I didn't answer for you, uh, please go ahead and write back. Uh, but uh, no other resistance on the uh, daily, the weekly, the monthly, from a TD9 count standpoint out there. So I do hope that that helps you out. Next question coming in from uh, John O. This is John O in Wisconsin. And John says, hey, Steve. Hey, John. You hold a position in MU. So let me do this here. I'm going to get over to a different uh, set of uh, charts so that we can pull that over into the uh, into the screen that we're looking at. And we're also going to go ahead and type in MU. That is Micron. The question is, you have a position of Micron around 75. Earnings are tonight. It nearly broke 100 bucks per share in January. You intend to sell half your position prior to the close. Would you please look at your chart so I can evaluate whether it heads towards 85 or back to 75 after the bell? It's perfect. So let's see if there's any kind of consensus out here. Consensus daily, weekly, monthly. On a daily time frame chart, what you have is the potential of this setting up an A to B equals CD to the upside. Potential because the swing point is March the 18th, 28 million shares. It's 123 in the afternoon. You're already at 21 million shares. It's got the volume. Can it hold price? Can it close above 8120? You're at 8058 right now. So John O, the first question, the first, the first piece of the puzzle that needs to be answered is where does this close? If it closes above 8120, it's signaling an A to B equals CD to the upside. That signal would then give you a price projection, the one to one. That's only if we get a close above that level. That one to one would take us up into the 8794. Now, interestingly enough, at 8794, that would run right into descending trend line resistance. So, if you're asking me, is there some kind of signal right now? The daily chart is saying that that's what its intentions are. Whether it will come to fruition or not, that's another story. The weekly chart says, you know, nice move, Steve-O. But I'm not sure what you're talking about. I've been below the bottom of that daily profile for about a month out here. That, by the way, is at 82.32. And not until price closes above that can we suggest that price is going to move higher. If anything, this has just been the counter trend move so far. And the monthly chart says, hey, this is a snooze fest. This is pretty simple, you guys and gals. All I'm doing is consolidating. And that consolidation is between 70.70, by the way, hint, hint, that is the buy area. And resistance, which is 96.96. That would be the sell zone. We'll pull over the other charts, or the white background charts for Micron, see if there's any other signal out here to help John O in Wisconsin. The answer is, well, in a daily time frame, he had the TD9 count bottom. You've got no kind of a top. Above the top of that daily profile is a bullish outcome. Suggest run to 92.19. The weekly time frame chart. Again, we talked about how prices below the uh, bottom of its profile. 
But really now, as we take a look at it, it's really all price did was get back in essence to where it was consolidating from out here, or at least on a weekly basis, the consolidation point. Uh, but what price needs to do is not until it gets above 83.89 out there, John, can we say on a weekly basis that this wants to head higher. So the weekly is kind of hmm, so-so. The monthly chart out there, nothing more than a consolidation. So really, I, I, and on a short-term time frame, is there any other signal out here? 30-minute chart? No. Not really. Um, so back to the daily, I would say that uh, MU, Micron, looks like what it wants to do after earnings is head to the upside. And that's just based upon today's volume, trading above the top of that profile, uh, not having a daily topping signal out there. And again, I think the confirmation would be if this thing can close above that B point high, which was $81.20, you're trading at $80.59. So, John, thanks so much for writing in. Good to hear from you and have a, a terrific day. Tim M writes in. Tim wants to take a look at uh, Vertex Pharmaceuticals. V R T X is a ticker symbol. So, let's get that fired up out here and see what Vertex is signaling to you and I. Price, trade above the top of the daily, above the top of the weekly, and above the top of the monthly profiles out there. What does that say? That says, hey, I want to go back to those highs. Those highs I'm referring to are July of 2020, the next resistance level. For this, I'm not sure what it is. We're going to go try to figure that out during the break. We come back, we'll report to you what Vertex Pharmaceuticals wants to do. Of course, we'll go ahead and read Tim's question as well. Be right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
So we're looking at Vertex Pharmaceuticals, folks. Uh, Tim uh, M. And wants to, Tim M. wrote in. He wants to know. He's got a long position. He wants to know where support and resistance levels are for the daily and weekly time frame. So from a profile standpoint, uh, Tim, old resistance, which would be the top of our profile, can become support. So those would be the first levels that you would be looking at. In the case of the daily time frame, the daily profile is slightly bullish in, or bearish in structure. So price closed above that. We're now day number four above that level. So your support area would really be between 246.89. That's the center. So that says price would have to get back inside the profile. But your real support level would be between 246.89 and 250.42 from a profile standpoint. Turns out at 246.59 is the top of the weekly profile. So your real level of support or key level of support, I'm going to say, is a 246. 80, uh, 246, uh, 59 level out there. As we look at the white background charts, we'll see if there's anything else uh, resistance-wise um, as we take a look at the daily, weekly, and monthly. First, on a daily basis, another level of support where price hit today, that's the momentum support, and that was at the oscillator and change line at 252.88. There's a Rosemont indicator signal has been triggered. You don't have a bearish reversal candle. You could have one by day's end, and then if price were to close below the oscillator and change line, then that would signal move back into the 250.43, 240. 690 type level. That's not what you have at this stage here. So it does suggest that price wants to continue to move higher. No other resistance that I have on a daily time frame. If I pull this back, uh, no, nothing that I've got here, at least for the data that I have. The weekly time frame, uh, the only resistance level would be up at 304, basically near its all-time high. Price is also moving higher, doing less relative energy. Now, in this case here, there's a cool message here for you about Vertex Pharmaceuticals. It had a TD9 count top uh, the week of February 4th. And uh, that high is 254.93. That is your resistance level, 254.93 or 254.17. A close above 254.93 is going to suggest a move to 304. Price above the daily profile, above its green oscillator and change line. So really right now, its signal is neutral for the weekly time frame. Neutral to looking pretty good. The monthly chart says, hey, I formed a TD9 count top, a TD9 count bottom, uh, a, then a bullish structured monthly profile. I'm above the top of that profile. I'm above the breakdown level, 222.78, and I'm above the green oscillator and change line. This is suggesting a run back for its highs over time. So we take a look at uh, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, uh, Tim. This looks like a pretty darn good trade. I can't find a reason to suggest that you would exit this, uh, and it looks like it wants to continue to move higher. So thanks so much for writing in. I do hope that that helps you out. We'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Next question. Coming in from Nicholas. Nicholas wants to take a look at. Uh, he wants to take a look at uh, nuclear weapons, the UVXY. Hey, Steve. Great call on the SMHs. Thank you uh, there. Would you please go over UVXY? Is it near a TD9 bottom? You're looking for an entry point. So let's answer that question first. Let's just simply pull over the UVXY chart out here. <laughs> Excuse me. And the answer is nah, no. Not a TD9 anywhere near. Uh, in fact, if anything, the TD9s were surpassed a while back. But the interesting message here, really, Nicholas, that you want to focus on, if anything, is the fact that its oscillator and change line recently changed colors as well. So it tells us over time we should see price and that catch up to each other. Um, you're looking for an entry point. And I know you sent me an email yesterday. I didn't get to uh, that uh, and about the UVXY. And so I can tell you just have a hankering for trading the UVXY. And we've got another uh, debtor that uh, likes to trade that as well. And uh, the information or what I passed on to him many years ago was the best. If you're going to trade UVXY, here's my recommendation. My recommendation is you first go out and you get a subscription to the TAS market profiles. The second thing is you better be in front of your computer. This is a truly this is an intraday trading vehicle out here. Yeah, sometimes you can catch it up at the high and the bottom out there, but you might be able to do that using these intraday time frame charts. I have the three minute chart for UVXY up on my screen. The best pattern that I have found to be able to trade with this is short term with those profiles in the case of UVXY for an example. We just simply come back here to yesterday at around uh, noontime. Once price starts closing below the bottom of the profile, that in essence says you'd want to be short UVXY, so you'd find the opposite product of this, obviously. And here what you know is you would not jettison your position until you saw a close above the top of a profile. See how that worked here? So your first opportunity to actually exit this UVXY trade would have taken place, it looks like, would have really taken place at about 12.06 this afternoon. 
out here as price got above that. So now you could take the opposite approach. You VXY, you go long unless you see a close below the bottom of the profile. Well, you saw a close below the bottom of the profile out here at 1245. So it's these profiles, it's these short-term time frames. I've not found any other tool, any, and then like I'm not saying there's not any other tool out there. I'm just saying I haven't found anything better to help guide you, and this is an ultra short term, sometimes a three minute, you might look at a two minute or four minute or something along those lines. But Nicholas, that's the way really to do this. I think though what you're writing to me about is more of a swing type trade out there. And that just becomes uh, truly complicated. So uh, this is the best advice that I can uh, provide to you. It may not be the best advice, it's just the best advice that I can provide to you. So I do hope that that helps you out. The last question that we've got at this moment that, oh, I take it back. There was a question inside the Tiger's Den. I almost forgot about that. It was BBY. BBY. So we want to take a look at uh, that. I should have had that fired up here on my black background screens. I don't. Why don't I? Good question. We're going to get BBY fired up there anyways. And this is Best Buy Company. Now, what I don't know was what the question was. <clears throat> My apology about that. Let me just share with you what we're looking at for Best Buy. Right now, price is trying to get back inside its daily profile. It would accomplish that task with a close above 99.27. If it does that, it would suggest to move up to the 104.75 level, but it might run into resistance at 102.32. 104.75 was the center of its daily profile. 102.32 is the top of its weekly profile. So your range of resistance on a move higher is 102.32 to 104.75. If you can get above 104.75, you're looking at a move to 108.99. That would be the center of its monthly profile. And if you get above 108.99, you'd be looking at 112.96. So that's what the profiles tell us. Let's go take a look at the daily, weekly, and monthly, all the daily and weekly charts for Best Buy out here. See what they're signaling to you now. Well, first, we've got a nice roads momentum indicator bottom. Price moves higher. I don't know why it stopped where it did. But it did, and it pulled back and it made a retracement. Looks like maybe about a 0.618 retracement. That March 14th low could be could be the C point of an A to B equals C to the upside. Um, nothing else here for me to add on the daily time frame with regard to the weekly time frame out here. I don't know why it bottomed where it did other than getting back to support, having that bullish hammer candle. In essence, what I mean is I don't have a bottoming pattern. Doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. Right now, you've just got that consolidation with inside the weekly time frame. The only other chart time frame that I have for Best Buy is its 30-minute chart. And 30-minute chart formed a TD9 count top. It did it at 12 noon. If price is able to close above that high, that is 99.98, then what Best Buy is going to do, it's going to go run to 100.91. That's its next TD9 count breakdown resistance. If it does not take out that high what price will do is go target the 98.56 level 98.56 is its green oscillator and change line changed colors a couple of hours ago you've got the valid top that's in place out here so again if price is not close above 99.98 you should see a move to 98.56 and if it closes above that high you're headed to 100.91 and that was ticker symbol bby best buy we'll be right back Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to John in Philly. John, thanks for calling, and thanks so much for holding. How are you today? Steve, well, I'm doing very well. Thanks for taking the call, sir. And I um, wanted to ask you, please, about the oil futures contract. Yes. The very specific question first to background. We had that sell-off kicking in about 940 this morning on news out of uh, Russia. And uh, sharp selling. And as that occurred, I observed that uh, in real time, the uh, crude oil futures uh, just before 9 a.m. hit a low at 98.50, and I observed that was literally within five cents uh, an exact FIB 786 support test. So I went and grabbed uh, a contract a half hour later, just under 100, so that's my position. Uh, my thought in doing so was merely it was a low-risk trade, not knowing what it would do next. Well, it's rallied. Now that it's rallied and made that low at the FIB 786, very specific question for you, please. Uh, was there key support that showed up in your work that suggests to you that's a bottom? And if not... I'm wondering, is there something in your work that says, hey, price has to get above and exceed some particular level to prove that as a bottom? Okay, excellent question. So I can answer the question this way. And the bottom signal, John, uh, would be coming to the support level, I should say, would really be coming from the weekly time frame. So right now we've got the May contract for light sweet crude. Let me pull this back just a tad, and here's what you're going to see, or here's what you should see. The first thing is the spike lower this morning was nothing more than a test of that green oscillator and change line on a weekly basis. As long as price remains above that, for that time frame, this instrument remains bullish. Now, it could be neutral if there was an actual topping signal for the weekly time frame. I don't have that, so I go back to this remains bullish. The second element that it was testing was basically, I'm going to give you two different figures. If I went to my synthetic version of the contract because of rolling over to different contracts the figure would have been 98 98 I don't have that privilege to do that on this weekly chart this white background chart we're looking at and that level is 103.34 let me make sure I want to give you the exact number here I believe it's 
103.34. So 103.34 uh, to 98.98. 98. If price remains above that level, that was also another area of support that is held. John, any questions about the weekly chart before we go take a look at anything else? So far, so good. Perfect. So what we don't really have here is uh, some type of uh, easily definable bottom signal from the intraday charts. So, for example, here's a 30-minute time frame chart. I don't have anything that I visually see right now. doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. It just wasn't there on that. What I do think that you want to be paying attention to is the fact that you're going to – you are now in bar number eight of a TD9 count. This is going to complete at 2 o'clock. You need to see a high above the current high of the day so far, and that high is so far at 104.30. If there is a move above, just has to be a spike above that between now, so let's say between 145, so that's going to bar 8, and then we get 9 and 10. So between 145 and 3 p.m. out there, you could be looking at a short-term topping signal, which would be the TD9 count pattern. So I just keep an eye on that. For you, it doesn't mean you jettison the position, it just means you could then all of a sudden start to see some type of pullback or retracement. Um, is there, oh, I know, there, there is one other pattern that I did see out here, John, and you'll love this. You'll actually smile. Actually, you'll start smiling when you take a look at the chart and you look at the low and you take a look at the letter that is down at that low. And on my chart work, for the 60 minute time frame, that was another wave number seven pattern out there. So kudos to you, whatever it was that got you into that trade. I know you like those uh, wave sevens, a uh, courtesy of uh, Saratoga Bob and obviously Basil Chapman. And now what you have on a 60 minute time frame, John, is price taken on resistance, which is the top of its profile. And that is at the 104.88 level. So I want to, I take that back. Well, it couldn't be that. It had to be 104.08, 104.08 or 104.16. John, are there any other questions or anything else about these charts that uh, you have a question about or anything that I can share with you? One follow-up question, that is, please, uh, pertaining to the daily chart that you showed on Tiger TV. Yeah. Namely, price is uh, on that daily chart, is underneath a uh, green-colored oscillator and change line. What does that suggest to you, if anything? It suggests that uh, uh, you could see further retracements. So typically, those further retracements, Sean, are back to support levels. And that really takes us back to, in essence, one of the things that we were talking about earlier, which was on the weekly chart. The daily chart, it turns out that at 10203 or thereabouts, is where price, where buyers believe it's fair value with inside the range of 95.48 to 108.59. When price is above a green oscillator and change line, the meaning there is that it's bullish. When it's below a green oscillator and change line, says it's uh, you can see a further retracement and you really want to identify where the support levels are. And in essence, I think you and I have done that. Steve, thanks so much. You've answered all my questions. Uh, before the end of the show, I'd uh, appreciate just 15 seconds devoted to the question, did gold bottom today? But uh, Steve, thanks very much. You have a nice day. You bet. That was John in Philly. Always good to speak to him. So we'll throw those gold charts up on the screen out here. And uh, when gold was moving lower this morning, it was really doing two things. So remember, I, we, we try to be consistent. Or I try to be consistent on this show. When you look at a daily time frame chart, you want to be able to identify support levels. Well, in this case here, you can see the support level was 1895.60. Now, this is a June contract. You can still trade April right now. We're rolling over into uh, June. And that breakout level, 1895.60 price got down to 1893.20. Now what I know that John did at that stage, he was aware of this and other patterns in that hammer candle. I know that he fired away at the long side. Now, we took a look at Lightspeed Crude. It was a daily, weekly, and the 60-minute time frame charts that were giving us the signals there. And guess what? Gold on a 60-minute time frame gave that nice TD nine count bottom. So now what's taking place is price has gotten up to the level where it should have gotten to, and that's the resistance level. And that resistance level is 1921.80. If price can clear 1921.80, there's one more resistance level, John, and that is at the 1929.80 level, and that is its TD nine count breakdown area. If price is able to clear that, then it would signal that we should be back in the clear. Now, back in the clear just means that price is going to stay with inside its consolidation and this consolidation like brent and i talked about yesterday is really between the breakout level now we were yesterday looking at the april contract here we're looking at the june contract so in this case here we're looking at the trading range being between 
560. That's very clear to each of us. And that green oscillator and change line, which is at around the 1960 level, 1959, 1960. So that's the trading range for Goldilocks out here. Um, now, the mining equities had held up really well, I thought, this morning. I haven't looked at them for a while, but I believe the GDX was trading. Yeah, the GDX is trading to the upside. 21 pennies with gold to the downside at 23 bucks out there. And my point here is that typically, even though we're not taking a look at the GDX right now, we're just looking at the gold contract, is that when the mining equities perform better than gold, that is a bullish signal for that entire sector, meaning gold and the mining equities out there. So that's what I see at uh, John. We take a look to answer your question. Did gold bottom this morning? It was a viable bottom for sure. The price closed below 1895.60 though. We've got trouble in River City, but that's not the message at 150 in the afternoon. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Rose from New York City had called in. Uh, she wasn't able to hang on. Sorry that I couldn't get to you, Rose, but she wanted to look at uh, Black Hills Corp. Um, and I don't know what the question uh, was, but uh, it does look like it's running for the hills. Those hills should take it back to the all-time high, or what looks like might be the all-time high, from February of 2020, and that's in the $87 area. And the reason I say that is because it's because prices trade above all of its profiles out there. But let's go check, make sure there's no other uh, signals that uh, Rose has to worry about. On the daily time frame, uh, the only topping signal I do have, and it is a topping signal, is wave number seven. Now, that needs a lower high to form. If you do get that rose, what price should do is pull back and retest its oscillator and change line, 73.59. So that's got a potential for a top. On the weekly time frame, I don't have any kind of a topping signal suggests that it wants to run higher. On a monthly basis, I don't have any kind of a topping signal. Suggest wants to get back to that all-time high. Yearly, you're trading above last year's high. When you trade above last year's high, even on a yearly basis, this had a TD9 count top back in 2020. Uh, price pulled back to test support, in essence, which was the bottom of its profile. That held. And uh, when you trade above a prior year high, you are in bullish formation out there. So Black Hills does want to run to the hills. The last question is going to be for uh, uh, Hector and Patty. They want to take a look at uh, Bank of America. If we take a look at BAC, it still has that TD9 count top, guys. And it needs to take out that high. That high is the high from uh, March 26 second and that's at 44.63 price is consolidated with inside its daily profile as long as price remains about 42.35 on a daily basis it's okay it's just more neutral than anything else on the weekly time frame out here roads meant to indicator top support is held which was the bottom of the profile out there nothing more there on the monthly chart um, not a lot uh, to help us Hector and Patty so you got that TD9 count on the daily time frame and that is your real thorn in your side out there so folks Thanks so much for all the requests today. Hope I got to uh, everything. And uh, stay tuned because there's two more wonderful hours. David White's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And hey, don't forget that opportunity to join the Tiger's Den for $1, Mortimer. I would do it. You've got only things to lose and so much to gain. Take care, folks. Have a terrific Tuesday.